Uh, I'm a small restaurant owner, so I would want to know how I can market, or excuse me, how can my marketing compete with national t national chains? You know, keeping within the boundaries boundaries of my budget. Okay, that's a good question. First of all, you're not going to be able to compete with national chains in marketing. It won't ever happen. There are several national chains. I'm sure you know who they are. The big names we see every day on TV, on radio, in newspapers. They're spending two and three million dollars a day on advertising. You're not going to be able to compete with them. They have marketing teams that sit there and create marketing strategies and plans and what makes a customer buy and what turns a customer off and why it turns them on and why it turns them off. They have all of that data that you're never going to have. But you have something they don't. You have the ability to make a decision that is in the best interest of your business and in the best interest of the customer that is sitting within your business. And if you think about it, in a national chain, doesn't teach that theory to their managers. From a customer's perspective, I understand that when I buy a Ford pickup, which I'm very committed to Ford pickups, that I have a certain expectation of what Ford is. Because all Ford pickups are the same. Okay, but in the restaurant industry, the customer that is sitting in a national chain restaurant doesn't care what that other national chain's restaurants are doing in another part of the country. And those restaurants are operating differently. There's no way around it. Why? Because we're in the hospitality industry. Maybe the burger is the same, but the service definitely isn't. There's no way around it. The people definitely isn't. There's no way around it. Well, so the customer sitting there, and they're looking to that manager to make a decision which is, which is in the best interest of the customer. And the manager doesn't make it in most instances. But see, as an independent, you have the ability to make that decision. You have the ability to change your menu. You have the ability to make people hiring and firing decisions. You have the ability to roll out new operating systems. You have the ability to provide the customer above and beyond the call of duty service. You have the ability to deal with their complaint. You have the ability to make absolutely every decision. The national chains really don't provide or develop that culture. I think they should. I've talked to several of them over the last 25 years. I believe they should provide that to their staff, but they don't. And therefore, you can't worry about trying to compete with them on marketing from the global marketing perspective. You've got to think about competing on the individual marketing perspective. This customer sitting at this table ordering these items, that's individual street fighting marketing. That's where you can out-compete them. And if you're an independent and you do that, you will out -compete. And in fact, there's plenty of examples across the country where some of the biggest burger chains, some of the biggest pizza chains, some of the biggest Mexican food chains in the country are getting it handed to them by local operators in a certain metro area because that local operator is out-thinking them, out-executing them, out-working them. That's how you got to think about it.